Hey everyone, welcome back. Dear co-host who has not already seen this, <laughs> which one of these two guys do you think is the uh, boss we're going to be fighting? Because remember, the, they have one of each of the remaining artifacts. Uh, I think the guy in purple in the back, actually. Because he nope, looks... he's nope, just nope. a giant robot. A black giant robot. These... These models just don't really fit the whole fantasy aesthetic they're going for. I mean, like, sure, they've they've got pistols and stuff, but this is on a whole nother level. Of yeah, bullshit. it's like it's pistols could be like Renaissance mm -hmm. kind of era tech, but then you got these giant robots with laser swords and wings. Because of course, you got it won't be a JRPG if they don't have wings. This, this kind of feels like one of my D&D campaigns. <laughs> because uh, I I like to mix up magic and tech, you know. Uh, mm. But uh, my, I, I understand that my D&D campaigns are incredibly stupid plot-wise. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if this game realizes that. Probably not. Also, at this point, is when I'm kind of realizing I'm either horrifically undergeared or underleveled, or even both. Oh, as dear. most of the characters, it isn't until we finally break them, we're finally doing like triple digits, but they're still like oh, there's lots 20s of digits, and yeah. 10s. Yeah, that's not good. Meanwhile, he's hitting us like 500 fucking damage a hit, which is like a quarter or up to a oh. quarter to a third of everyone's health. This. This feels as this feels like when I'm taking on a boss when I'm really underleveled in Final Fantasy XII. Mm, uh, it, mm. it, it's it's just like a good thirty minutes of plinking away and making sure my healer does not run out of mana. Yeah. Uh, guess why this video is thirty minutes long? Do you spend all thirty of it fighting this boss? Please no. tell me no. Oh, thank, <laughs> <laughs> thank God. I'll probably tell I'm lying because he's already half dead. Okay. Uh, I, I don't know, maybe he pulls up some uh, final phase bullshit. Oh yeah, that's right. Here. It won't be a JRPG with a multi-stage boss. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Um, yeah, it would be very JRPG of them to pull out 5% uh, invulnerability uh, buff for the boss or something oh, like that. Oh god. That's the shit that drives me nuts in Final Fantasy XIV. It's like, oh man, finally I'm I'm I got all my stacks or whatever up. Time to kick this boss's ass, and the boss just jumps out of the arena for look, just as long enough as it takes for your buffs to run out. Look, man, I I play machinist. Oh Jesus! <laughs> my fucking wildfires, man. My fucking wildfires. I used to yeah, play this... monk, so then it was my stacks. But oh yeah, yeah. I, I raided as monk for a bit. And that always pissed me off because the boss. I swear, man, as soon as you get your third stack, they fucking leap mm -hmm. out. Yep. I I think every DPS class in Final Fantasy XIV has some variation of my stacks. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, I'm, I'm not doing good at this point. I'm like, oh shit, I need uh, to equip some items. <laughs> oh my god, you actually have to do something that's not button mash? I know, it, it's, it's fucking whack, man. Oh, and dear. I mean, just look at look at the damage here, seven three, like Jesus, and yeah. I mean, so... you might you might not even be under geared or under level. This boss just might be hilariously overtuned. Maybe. Also, Rom fucking died, so rip, rip. Not the best anime girl. <laughs> Don't put me on that. Also, I make sure to swap Rom out so uh, whoever else comes in can get experience. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know if this is those games where dead party members don't get it EXP, but I didn't want to deal with it. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, I'll be in the other... Hey, you got an achievement. Yeah, um, whoops. <laughs> you, you know how this game is uh, windowed? Yeah, so because yeah. of that, like, disabling Steam notification doesn't really work. Uh. Because technically it's not... In us in the Steam, you know, right thing. You know what might be the worst thing about this uh, having to play this game? It's gonna show up on your Steam account every time yep. you get an achievement. All my friends are gonna see that I'm a platinum Cyber Dimension Neptunia. 
Are you actually gonna try and platinum it? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, oh, Jesus. I, I recently found out that one of my old school uh, buddies is a net fan. At the very least, he's got about 40 something hours in Rebirth 1. And oh, he owns he owns all of them at the very least. You know, speaking of Rebirth 1, mm -hmm. I recently got a, a Steam notification about like they like it, updated the first game to like with backport DLC. characters from the second game, I guess. Yeah, I think I think you showed me this in Discord and I was just like, hmm. Yeah, I'm just I, like, that's kinda weird. I mean I'm all for uh, updating old games, like Rome Total War 2 still getting updates, uh DLC True. and stuff. But, also, hey, look! It's yep. uh, oh. it's those goons. It's those goons in the th in the Final Fantasy XIV thread who like get real pissy that they have to do story quests because it interferes with getting rolled first on Savage rating, and they're like all mad that other people get advancements when they can't. I I don't really remember any goons in the XIV thread who are like that. I've definitely seen redditors who are like that. Actually, no, I do remember one goon in the thread who said that he skipped every single cutscene. And doesn't know who any of the bosses are, and it just does it for yeah. the fighting rather than any story context. I'm just like, why, why are you playing this game? <laughs> yeah, Final Fantasy XIV isn't exactly the game I go to for great fighting. I I mean, I like the fighting, it's just that I feel like having the story context behind a lot of the shit makes it better. Right. New patch in... four days. I just want to oh, talk about something time. that's not. I just want to talk about something that's not for goddesses online, really. Oh, so <sighs> yeah. Now, now the lead up for the last one. And... Oh, bouquet's better. I just noticed. Yeah, she just she's better now. I guess. I guess. I uh. guess. So, so, so let me get this straight. Being mm -hmm. in that forest like corrupted her, but being in this mine that had one of the two like general bad guys, mm -hmm. or whatever. That that that's cool. That that's fine. Yeah, I I feel as though the coding for this virtual game is not quite up to scratch. Oh, ooh. Oh, so oh, apparently the last did... thing is at that big ass tree, maybe. They didn't call it Yggdrasil. They always call it Yggdrasil. If there's one thing, if there's one thing that anime really loves is Norse mythology, so I'm oh, surprised yeah. they didn't just call it the Yggdrasil. Also, here 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 they are still still. I'm t I'm telling you. It's a case of either you know someone who is like this about online video games, or you are someone who is like this about online video games. What, being angry that your kill was stolen? Being angry that other people have, had advanced further than you. Oh, right. Um, I, that's like their whole thing is like, oh, we didn't we didn't beat the boss, so we didn't get that, that, that treasure. I mean, there's those sorts of people, like on Reddit, who are like, Oh, you didn't beat the boss using a proper team composition, so it doesn't really count. And it's like, oh, yeah. You didn't either. <laughs> it's like, geez. Uh, sometimes I wonder why I browse Reddit, and then I realize that I gain happiness from seeing all these assholes complain about shit. Mm -hmm. it, it is great shopping. Oh, hey. Oh. Oh, hello. The merchant has a voice. And the merchant's a chick? I think everyone's a chick, really. Except for, like, two people in this game. You know you know the, how those people were, like, really mad about women in Battlefield Five. I think I uh -huh. understand how they feel now. What, about guys in Four Gosses in Line? No, I'm just joking. Right. No, saying, uh, <laughs> oh, man, there can't be women here. And say... No, I understand what they mean now. This person who I thought was a male was actually a chick this whole time. But that's oh. okay, because that means that I now have my waifu for this game. It's it's Femme, femme Merchant. Okay, fair enough. She's going to open up her robe for me, show me all kinds of things that she's got on sale. I wouldn't be surprised if there was just more robes underneath that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I've been playing a lot of Dwarf Fortress recently, <laughs> and I remember this old, like, quirk... Mm -hmm. Where uh, you get what, what were they called the um, dungeon masters or something like that, right? Or beast masters, but they were a noble, and for whatever reason, they never wore like clothes. All they wore was a bunch of different robes, <laughs> or was it cloaks? <laughs> I forgot which one it was, but yeah, 
That's pretty hilarious. It was pretty great. I was like, hey, uh, it sounds like working as intended to me. <laughs> I haven't played Dwarf Fortress in like five, six years. Uh, I, I always managed to get like one industry running and then either I get bored because I can't deal with the graphics or... Uh, mm. I get overrun by goblins because I was really bad at military. No, the military system in Dwarf Fortress is kind of like hilariously unfair. The game like, oh, you got like twenty dwarves. Well, here's mm -hmm. a here's sixty fucking goblins attacking you. Have fun, jackass. Yeah, basically, I I like to make pretty fortresses, and then yeah. I realized I was really bad at forward planning, so I always run out of space for stuff. I, I think mm -hmm. there's a peaceful mode, so I could just turn that on, I guess. I think I did do that, and then I just was bad at uh, forward planning. Or I dug into a lava seam and then killed everyone by accident. It was great. Oh, so I like to pretend that this message here about a Grim Reaper appearing if you stay in a dungeon for too long. I want to pretend that is a reference to Dragon's Dogma, the uh, Bitter Black Isle expansion, where there is a Grim Reaper who appears from time to time. I... My first thought would have been a, re a reference to Persona because there's a Reaper demon thing who oh. shows up if you stick around in the dungeon too long. In 5 at least. I'm not sure how it works in other uh, two popular Lisa. games. 3 and 4. No that one ever plays 1 and 2. Might be. Also, might hey, be. Tamsoff, I got something to ask you about. Why is the fucking intro to this game so goddamn long every time I fire it up? Who knows? <laughs> can, can your... Uh, can your logo, like, you know, go a little faster sometimes? <laughs> Player that we met had a really awesome weapon. Oh. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, the, no. Uh, the laser it is sword thing or whatever. It is Kirito. Really? Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. It's a charge blade. Mm. Yeah, you know, I'm glad you're here, because these references would go right over my head. I, I would probably still be going, huh? What's that? Is that an anime reference? I'm, I mean... I'm American. I mean, it... I, I, I've never seen Sword Art Online, but I do think the hero in Sword Art Online has a, um, has a laser sword. Okay. I just again, say, the only thing yeah. I know about Sword Art Online was the, uh... Yeah. The, the <laughs> that. VR sex thing. Oh god. Because it is hilarious. I, I've never watched Sword Art Online. Everything I know about it is from cultural osmosis, if you want to call it that. Mm hmm. And it just being boring as hell. Uh, so who knows? Maybe I just opened up a quest line to get an ultimate weapon. Maybe. Like, who would it go to? Uh, who are your sword users? Nep is a sword user. Uh, Neptune, so I'm thinking most likely her just because she's the main character. Yeah, that's true. Although it'd be funny if but, you could give, like, uh, Rom or Ram well, it just yeah, because they're swords. Does this game have laser katanas? I'm sure, I'm sure the, like, endgame weapons will be that. I mean, for right now, all of our uh, strongest weapons are fucking ice cream based or candy based. <laughs> I still find it hilarious how the joke weapons are good. Yeah, like ridiculous, like a hundred damage or a hundred plus like strength compared to the other ones. Why are we in church right now? Uh, Noir is here to confess her sins. Oh, oh no! For, forgive me, sister, for I have animated. Ah. <sighs> Speaking of anime, is it time for Ibble Bibble's decent anime of the week? Should go for oh, it. Well, not even week. Um, so, today... Is that, is that a joke about my uh, update schedule? Hey, mine's much, <laughs> mine is much worse than yours. I, I need to go record for my LP sometime. Um, anyway, so today, uh, uh, an anime that I liked has finished. Uh, it's called Isekai Isekaya. So, isekai is the generic genre of, like, someone goes into another world, usually a fantasy one, you know, that sort of thing. And right. izakaya is a type of Japanese restaurant. So, um, it's one of three isekai 
animes that I like. I've probably already talked about the other two, uh, Konosuba, Overlord, and this one. So it's it's literally just an anime. It's a food anime. It's just an anime about a restaurant that has one, like their back door is in the real world, but their front yeah. door is into this parallel dimension. It's not, it's not really magic. It's more like medieval times thing. There's no magic or anything like that. And it's just, uh, oh, how these like, how these 14th century uh, Germanesque people uh, react to modern day Japanese cuisine, and it's mm. it's a good it's a good watch. Uh, like the episodes are aren't particularly long; they're like ten episodes, uh, ten minutes long each, and it's it's just fun to watch food animes. Personally, <laughs> mostly because I get really hungry whilst watching them, and it's like Sounds I wish I could. Right. I wish I could afford Unagi right now because this anime is making me want to go get it. Which is probably why they made the anime. I, I think it might have Most been likely. like a Tourism Japan co- collab or something. Because you it... Know, my, my... Yep, see you first. I was saying, uh, you know, my favorite thing yeah. about like animation, not just anime, but cartoons too, is mm-hmm. everyone goes, but it's just a commercial. And it's uh, like... It depends, depends. God forbid anything has a toy or a thing wherein you could you could go to to spend more money yeah i mean it it, it's an annoying part of capitalism but hey if the thing is decent then you could just ignore the buying thing really yeah so uh, this dialogue here was um Mm -hmm. apparently uh blonde also played that uh one playstation 2 mmo Oh, that, that one. Vert and Noir uh, play. Noir were playing. If it's a PlayStation 2 anime, it would have been um, it would have been Final Fantasy 11, wouldn't it? Are there any other? Or maybe like Fantasy Star Online? I don't know. Oh man, I know there was this one. I had off the tip of my tongue, like Legend of something Ath. I'm not too sure. <laughs> um, mm, maybe. Wait, I'm trying to remember. Was 11 PS1 or PS2? That was PS2. Okay. Also, uh, once again, they did like the reverse thing where it's like, oh, we were all guys in Guild, but I'm pretty sure we were all women in real life. Hmm. Also, look. I... Oh, who, who's nope. that in the bottom oh. of the screen? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to this. Uh, I, I find in most MMOs that all the girls are guys and all the guys are also guys. Um, <laughs> actually, um, Sounds about right. the the women I do know in MMOs do tend to play women, so I don't know. Hmm. Also, once again, the uh, the uh, the the pawn spirit thing. Oh, I I can't keep track of all these different. Um, oh dear. I can't keep track of all these different uh, side plots. <clears throat> maybe, maybe if I was actually playing the game, but I wouldn't be caught dead playing this game. Ever. Not all of us can be so lucky. Nope. But I just like to point out. So she like went to go see the pawn spirit, and I was like, "Oh, well, it's quiet here, so I guess I'll train." And then she says something about him. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the uh, our training arena. I just want to point out. I'm assuming the pawn spirit thing is this thing here, and the training arena is all the way over here. They're they're uh, kind of like nowhere close to one another. Maybe it's that other Just, pond. Maybe there are two pawn spirits. Yeah, that's that's why I went over. I was like maybe that, but who knows? Well, time nope. to get it over with. Uh, I just double checked. <laughs> oh. Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Uh, I do have to admit, I kind of enjoy finding shirts to use. <laughs> Good choice. I've never seen Napoleon Dynamite. I should probably go watch it sometime. I don't know what it was about that movie that was just so big in 2004 or three. I know I was in like middle school when it came out and just like everyone was into it. Maybe it was the only meme worthy thing at the time. Maybe. Maybe it was just during that era where the internet was still kind of in its infancy, so you yeah. didn't have anything that was doing, like, LOL random for the kids oh. to get into. Oh, God. Um, what was I doing on the internet at that time? Uh, <laughs> oh, dear. 
I think I was just hanging around on Bionicle fan sites. Oh my god, Bionicle. <laughs> hey man, I, I still own a ton. I'm eyeballing one right now. Oh, An OG man. 2001 Liwa. Man, I'm kicking myself in the ass for not like keeping a bunch of like toys and shit I had when I was younger. Because that shit is big bucks right now. I could probably sell it. Um, none of them are sealed though, so it's gonna like the worth has gone down like crazy. Mm. But I could sell them if I wanted to. But I don't really want to. There's actually something uh, my brother has, mm -hmm. which again, something I'm kicking myself in the ass for not getting. You, uh, you know, I'm sure you know when Pokemon first came out, how that was the biggest fucking thing. Um, the very and... first. I think the very first Pokemon came out when I was five, so no, not really. Um, <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I'm let, old. Uh, let me see. Pokemon Red. When did Pokemon Red come out? Uh, 1996 in Japan. Uh, in North America, 1998. So yes, I was four when the first Pokemon came out. Uh, by the time oh, I was old enough to play video games, uh, Fire Red and Leaf Green were out. I think Leaf... Green was the first one I probably played. So when Pokemon first came out, it was it yeah the the biggest fucking mm -hmm. thing. Pokemania was just huge. Yep. And at uh, Burger King, they used to sell these things. I think it was when the first movie came out, where it was okay. like a Pokeball, and if you opened it, it was like a a gold plated quote quote oh. uh like trading card. Oh. Snazzy. And I had all of them as a kid, and I fuck. I guess I threw them out or something. Oh dear. My brother still has those. Every single one of them. You could look at how much they're worth right now. I know. Shit, I'm telling my brother, say, "Hey, brother, I'll fucking buy them off you if you don't want them." <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, I'm collecting shit. And it's at this point, I was like, "What? What the fuck am I supposed to do?" Oh, the game's sending me back to right. the fucking. Okay, well, one of them sending me back to that that place we were just at. So at the very least there, you know, it's on level stuff. And a uh, event popped up here. Mm-hmm. Oh. And I'm, I'm sure you're going to know where they're going for with this scene here. Oh, dear. Also, again, a a, uh, a lot of tell and not showing here. I just walked into a room with, like, four bad guys. And they're like, oh, the room locked off. And there's infinite enemies popping out. This game, no way is this game intended for all ages. No, it's not. It, it's intended for the 13 and up age for teenage boys who because don't that's know what... how to Google porn. Yeah, pretty much. Anime boobs. Alexa, please Google anime breasts. <laughs> <laughs> right? You could do that I on think... your cell phones and shit, man. That's, I think that's, that's how whack. Kids... I think that's how kids do these these days. Oh, I, I just I just checked. Um, Lego Bionicle Liwa is being sold on eBay from anywhere, uh, generally around thirty USD. Generally in oh, can hmm. forty seven. So not as much as I thought it would have been personally, right. considering it's been seventeen years since it came out. Right. I guess it's not too much. I guess uh, when I when I think of like old stuff, I'm usually thinking of video games where like. Super Mario World's like three hundred freaking dollars. Oh yeah, like old school NES, SNES games, that sort of stuff. I wonder how much Chrono Trigger goes for these days because that's like super popular. Everyone wants mm -hmm. it. Mm-hmm. Oh, also Vert wants to be uh, wants to have one of those endings. You know, you know those games on Steam that are all the rage now, where you play as an anime girl and then you uh -huh. die and you get a scene of her being raped. Yeah, uh, yeah, I I do know which ones you're talking about. Yes. Yep. yep. Bert seems disappointed that so she... that will not happen to her. I I don't think there are any H game MMOs out there. But Oh I would... my god, do you remember Scarlet Blade? I think I know which one you're talking about. Yes, it yes, is, I do yeah. know which one you're talking about. Um MMO where you only play as chicks and there was a gift shop item that lets you remove her underwear. Yes, I I do remember this um, because I remember seeing ads for it and being like, "This looks like a really stupid game that's basically just porn," um, and it failed. Yeah, the so I the answers that question. I remember a couple of goons were doing 
uh, let's play MMOs, so they were just playing some random ass like Korean or Chinese MMOs and stuff, along with the right. Also, bigger God damn it, Bert. <laughs> oh. what, she has what some real mean? hang time there, and I could not hit the bad guy. Oh right. Oh, uh, do you mean Noir? Are you mixing up your girls? Noir. Yes. Oh yeah. my God, I can't tell the difference between them. All mm. anime is the same. I I'd say they're the two that look the most different from each other, but okay. <laughs> no, shut up. But yeah, uh, so the couple, the two goons who were doing Let's Play MMOs, I think they did uh, one on Scarlet Blade, and I was watching the episode, and I was like, wow, this game really is really trash. Uh, I think they were playing mm -hmm. on a private server because, uh, of course, there's private servers for it because the main game's shut down already. Right. Also, hey, we finally. So, like, I didn't know what to do before I checked my quest log. I was like, okay, let's just mm -hmm. knock out these quests. But there was like some lead up to this scene in particular. Right. Where like can... uh, when we turned in all the quests after getting the artifact, like the three, these three like talked. Uh huh. I was so really paying attention. <laughs> oh wow. And it's like the quest. I'm the quest they they gave me to come here is to kill some enemies that literally will not be able to damage me <laughs> at this point. I I can hear the dramatic music in the background. Um. This dramatic music as they're talking about a healer who stayed online so long they fucking died and made the news or something like that. Oh, uh, yeah. My my mom always used to tell me stories about those guys because uh, this was... I mean, I still play a lot of MMOs, but I don't play them as much now. Uh, but the days of when I was like playing RuneScape or Dota all day and then my mom would be like, You see, this this man in China, he play... He play uh, video game for 36 hours and then he died make sure you don't do that okay and i'm just like okay mom <laughs> i'm not going to i need to go to school still so it's kind of impossible um, for me to do that infancy of mmo gaming that those are it's always nice when something new and like big kind of happens because then like immediately you get people come around oh this person did this and died <laughs> this happened and this person died also yeah. i got a bunch of items i have oh. no idea what they do or what they're even for I don't know. <laughs> so I'm like, uh, what am I supposed to do now? I'm checking the quest to see if maybe I had to turn in something. But nope. Um, maybe you need them for the laser sword. Who knows? Oh, Christ. Maybe. So, yeah. So, now this this next thing. Why, why did I not? Did I seriously not speed this up? Oh, my God. Oh. Editing Liao, you are the fucking worst. <laughs> oh, wait. No, I did. Okay. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> I think I wanted to show off that uh, I used one of my finite keys to get a fucking blue egg. Are those chest. even are those even rare? Nope, they're just access. Uh, you know, things I could make them wear. Also, yeah. Right. So, th this is what the quest is sending me. Look at this. He it literally cannot hit me. <laughs> oh dear. Are you? This is this is. I went to the Discord and I said Neptunia does not fucking care about your time. Because it's sending you to do quests to kill enemies who cannot damage you. I mean, there's... There's the power fantasy of just going around and doing shit and no one can stop you. And then there's being forced to do it after several hours of it. Like, it's fun for the first, like, 15 minutes. It, it, it's yeah. like in WoW when you, you're in a PvP server and you just fly to the starter zone of the opposing faction and you just kick their ass for fun. <laughs> I mean, I, I wasn't an asshole, so I never did that in WoW, but people did that to me, and that was annoying. But I can see why people did it for about 20 minutes max, and then after that, I'm just like, how are you not bored of this? I'm... Right. I'm, I'm just like level... I'm just like level 30, and then this is like a level 110 just coming to stomp me in the face. Yeah, ridiculous. So finally, I, I knock out the quest, I'm gonna return them. Hooray! Let, let, let's see. Let's see what the next quest is. Oh, go back to literally the very first fucking dungeon. Oh my god. Yep. <sighs> How does this? I was like, okay, I am done. I am going to save and quit. <laughs> That's fair enough. <sighs> see you next time, everyone. See ya. This game sucks.